Action Collective. My name's Rishan. Before we kick off, I just wanted to say that uh, we're meeting today on uh, the land of the First Nations people. This land was stolen. It was never ceded, and it always was and always will be Aboriginal land. Yeah. there are protests today to say that it has been five years too long. It has been five years too long since 19th of July 2013 when the detention centres uh, offshore on Nauru and Manus Island were reopened by the Kevin Rudd Labor government and thousands of refugees have had to endure the basically uh, concentration camps on tropical islands for years. Some have been there for five whole years. It's an absolute disgrace. Shame. Shame. So I think we have to see our role here today uh, alongside the refugees on Manus Island and Nauru who continue to protest, who continue to raise their demands through social media and recently a book as well written by Beirut Bachani who is a Kurdish journalist who is a political prisoner who is stuck on Manus Island still uh, even though in October apparently the detention center was closed we have to see ourselves as standing in solidarity with these people um, in their protests and also as being part of a movement to uh, remember the history to remember the fact uh, that our political leaders, so-called, are responsible for continuing concentration camps in this country and offshore, and also to be part of bringing the system down. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. There are 1,000, uh, around 1,600 people still uh, in these detention centers, 12 people dead or rather killed by the system of detention and basically we're here as well for those people offshore but also the many refugees uh, who are still uh, you know in other forms detained in this country unable to access permanent residency enduring a life with no future no education no work no certainty and constant stress and often also the threat of uh, deportation as well which could come at any moment depending on how Peter Dutton is feeling that day so, the first speaker uh, is actually uh, Frederica Steen today. Uh, Frederica Steen is a long-term campaigner for refugee rights and also uh, a long-term uh, part of the Refugee Action Collective. So, uh, please make her feel welcome. So, we are going to march today as well. I hope. Many people would join us on this march. And one of the chants that we've been raising for a number of years uh, has been to bring them here. So we call on uh, all sides of politics, yeah. labor and liberal wow. to commit to actually bringing the refugees wow. here. So if people could repeat after me just for practice for the march. Mm -hmm. Bring them here. Bring, bring them, them here. here. Bring them 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 here. All right. Our next speaker is uh, Benedict Point, uh, who is the uh, former president of the Australian Lawyers for Human Rights and is also the current Greens candidate for Dixon. So please make him welcome. Free, free the refugees. Free, free the refugees. Free, free the refugees. I just want to share some words with people as well. You can look up the full uh, message coming out of Manus Island from a young man called uh, Hazeb. He is a refugee uh, originally from Afghanistan. His background is Hazara. They are a oppressed group within Afghanistan and Pakistan. And he shared a few words uh, online to say that 
He arrived in Manus Island when he was only 17. That was five years ago and he spent the best part of his life there. And he's, he talks about losing friends over time, but he also says that, he says today we appreciate those who attend in this protest. We are sending our love to them. We are also asking those who are silent during these past five dark years to stand by us and keep more pressure on the Australian government to get us out of here and avoid innocent people dying. And I think that uh, even though I see a lot of uh, usual faces in this crowd tonight, I also see a lot of people I don't recognise I think this is quite a good showing tonight of people in Brisbane who support refugees. And actually, if we're going to see a movement to end the detention centres, to end offshore processing, uh, we really do need to bring ourselves out, but also any demoralised friends or family who are sitting at home tonight frustrated and support refugees need to be here with us. So, on that note, uh, good on you for coming out. Uh, and also our next speaker is uh, Gabby Sutherland, who was actually uh, a teacher on Nauru uh, for uh, children who came as asylum seekers and was a whistleblower of the system there. So please make her feel welcome. All right, that was Gabby Sutherland, whistleblower from Nauru. Okay. Uh, I just want to say though that the the most galling thing about our politicians as well is that they uh, continually face inquiries, they get letters from the community, they know that their policies are breaking people offshore. They're incredibly cynical people and I think that part of the problem for them is that, not for them, but part of their problem is that it's more than just an election cycle. Like obviously now we are coming closer to a whole range of elections and no doubt already we're seeing the racism being ramped up by Malcolm Turnbull. We're seeing the Sudanese people versus restaurants apparently in Victoria. Such ridiculous racist rhetoric like that. At the same time, the fact that refugees do get so mistreated in this country, the fact that there's no guarantee that if you're born in this country you can remain here even, actually creates a new normal. These policies require more dehumanization, more racism towards refugees, uh, the setting up of an another social layer who apparently for some reason of their values or their culture are undeserving of the same rights as the rest of us. And that actually is a danger because it often means that other people's rights eventually are abrogated after the most vulnerable people, the refugees, the migrants, are scapegoated initially. And that's why I think we need to, in every single way that we can, within every single campaign, actually target this government, keep up the pressure. Uh, whoever wins the next election, it doesn't matter. We need to keep up the pressure for refugees against militarism and so on. Whatever campaign you're a part of, it's important. And it's part of a general movement to, you know, bring humanity, bring human rights, um, you know, for the refugees and asylum seekers in this country. Stop yes, absolutely. And I think that uh, we're seeing that actually because uh, a member of the Tamil Refugee Council down in Melbourne actually said that Turnbull trumps Trump in terms of his policies. And you saw the incredible, like, totally unironic media coverage of Donald Trump separating migrant families, um, displaying the horror of that situation, um, of children crying for their parents, um, of being separated perhaps, you know, long term as well, and yet no recognition that probably Malcolm Turnbull actually inspired Donald Trump to engage in this policy and was doing it long before, you know, uh, Donald Trump had such a brainwave. It's an absolute disgrace that our government leads the way in human rights abuses. Another really uh, galling thing is the fact that uh, the population of uh, Tamils who are persecuted in Sri Lanka 
they especially have faced great injustice from uh, both Labor and Liberal when they've been in government. The Australian government takes its relationship with the Sri Lankan government uh, quite seriously. They actually struck a deal with Sri Lanka that if you stop asylum seekers from coming to Australia, we will, uh, and you take in uh, Tamil refugees that we deport, we will forgive your human rights abuses on an international stage and pretend that these things aren't happening. This is the role of the Australian government, to cover up human rights abuses from other countries just because it's politically convenient for their relationships with uh, dictatorships like Sri Lanka. It's an absolute shame. So, on that note, I wanted people uh, to... Uh, we have a speaker tonight, uh, Malar, who has um, been part of the uh, Home to Bilawila campaign. Uh, I'm sure people have heard about this. It's a disgraceful situation where, uh, you know, a family separation of Tamil refugees, uh, Priya and Nadis, and their uh, two infant daughters who were born here are actually still locked up in a detention centre in Melbourne. They were taken from their homes in the middle of the night and uh, faced deportation. And there's been an incredible campaign by the Biloela community to actually... Um, stop that from happening. So the speaker tonight, I would say, is, you know, it's very important that people listen to what she has to say. Um, and she is a friend of Priya and Nadi's, so please make her feel welcome. Free, free the refugees! 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 Shame, shame, Peter Dutton! Shame, shame, Peter Dutton! Malcolm Turnbull and the Labour government has inspired far-right policies across Europe, far-right policies in the US. This is all very true. At the same time, there has been an incredible wave of resistance in the United States. People moving to the left in a mass way, people refusing to allow their government to separate families, to attack migrants. Uh, people refusing to allow this horror to continue. They're calling to abolish ICE, which is the Immigration and Customs Enforcement Agency, which cre was created less than 10 years ago. And I can't wait for the day where we're marching and people organically raise the demand to abolish Border Force. Yeah. That people, again, like they did only in the, uh, the early 2000s, want to tear down the fences of detention centres here in Australia. That happened as well. People again in uh, Brisbane want to stop deportations in their tracks, want to get in the way to, to stop the Australian Federal Police and Border Police from allowing deportations to continue. Yeah. That is the kind of thing that we have to build up to. We cannot allow this to go on. So I hope everyone here will join us in a march right now. If people could begin to gather, there is a banner over there that you can line up behind.